friend and somebody he loves with all of his being, but somebody who he respects, loves, admires, and I see the same thing back with Gail towards Phil. This is absolute love, comfort zone. You two have, have found a home in one another. In a sense, the person we marry is a stranger about whom we have a magnificent hunch. I think that I can say with confidence that I have more than a hunch about you. In the time we've been together, nearly a third of our lives, we've grown up and we've both changed but the important things have remained constant. You make me feel confident and safe, and you've been a solid support in my life, compassionate and giving with friends and strangers alike, and dedicated to the people and things that matter most to you. While today is the end of a long journey, it is also the beginning of a hopefully longer one. I promise to support you in every way that I possibly can. I promise to protect you to the best of my abilities. But if I could promise you only one thing, it would be this. I promise not to stop here. Take my home. In every good marriage, it helps sometimes to be a little deaf. So that's my advice. Be nice to each other, but it really should be continue to be nice to each other, because I think for the last nine and a half years, you have been. So I'm happy today to formally welcome Phil and his family into our family. Phil, you are a fortunate young man to have won Gail's hand. I believe you have found a wonderful life mate, a young, young woman of good character, intellect, and kindness. I can see that she cares deeply for you and watches over you. Now I ask you, what more could a mother want for her son? Gail, you embody the qualities that Phil alluded to all those years back. You value family, you're reliable, caring, so, so generous, and you're always looking out for others. I feel fortunate to have had you in our family for all of these years, and of course to have you in it for many more years to come. Most importantly though, I feel so lucky knowing that you'll be by Phil's side for life. Everyone, it's wonderful to be here to celebrate Phil and Gal's wedding with so many great friends and family. Gal, you look absolutely gorgeous, and Phil, you actually also look surprisingly good. I assume Gal picked out your outfit. I'm so happy for both of you. I'm hard pressed to think of two people who are more perfect for one another. So I ask you all to please raise your glass to celebrate Phil and Gal with me as we wish them the best on their next adventure and many years of happiness to come. Take my heart.